Okay guys, it's 2 a.m. in the morning where I live at and I am extremely tired after today so I will showcase and make an example tomorrow and upload the entire project online and uh, the AGR, Advanced Game Ready uh, family, got a new uh, member which is the AGR Combat Master and Combat Master component is well up to today my best work honestly and it is obviously fully multiplayer ready and it is managing your attacks combos weapons you name it but it's not uh, it's not doing everything because if something trying to do everything it's 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 for nothing really usually so what it does it's taking all this heavy lifting off your back and what you need to do is just go into your uh, combat master add events and add event dispatchers and uh, there are already implemented here event dispatchers so here's the initial setup so for example i will discuss this in a second all this i could not use it that wouldn't change much only this node is important where, where I define uh, one of the bodies to track which is the long sword and I give it the reference to ah, okay uh, I give here long sword as a mesh and I store it under a name long sword and then I give this uh, event that says hey activate this so whenever you try to do traces you can do it per multiple weapons you can have dual wielding weapons you can have uh, you know a bow that shoots 15 arrows it doesn't matter it will trace every single component every single weapon that you uh, store per name and once you activate tracing it will trace everything and you can activate and deactivate weapons on the go so for example you got two swords and you have an animation where you swing one sword and then you swing another sword and that's a single animation then you will activate weapon by name sword one and do trace and then activate weapon by name sword two and activate trace and if they are both activated they both will trace that's easy as that and here by uh, event dispatcher you handle hit and uh, let me show it how it works first here you can do particles and other stuff you, you got event dispatchers for everything and how to use it because this looks quite intimidating right that's that's really a lot so how to use it that's the simplest thing ever like in this example project when I have my attacks so for example long light attack this is everything this is all you have to do I just set up the next attacking combo uh, bind it to an input action then I am resetting invalidating heavy attack for this combo because I don't want it to branch to heavy attacks I want it to just branch on X on the controller then I am doing the trace uh, per frames here up to here so that's 0.27 seconds that's one fourth of a second only three frames so when you're doing a physics collision on three frames of animation you don't really have much it's only three frames of tick and then here I'm getting the buffer and the buffer means that I allow input from here and execute this input here so instead of going the animation all the way here if you hit X anywhere here it will now trigger the next attack that we specified here so long light B and it will break this not do anything else and just go straight to the next attack so this is everything you just specify your combo or not if you don't have combos you, you just don't care then um, open a window for um, the next attack input you can have oh and you can reference self so you can have infinite loop of the same attack no problem 
and if you don't press any button then you should have a reset combo at the end but it's not really that much important because there is a fail safe reset anyway so the combo will reset anyway and um, yeah and here you have the trace notification this is the most important one honestly and there is another notification I'm not using here which is the notify uh, activate weapon and you just activate weapon by name so I know I have long sword and it's asking if this should be the only activated weapon or it should be added to the stack of activated weapons so yeah you know but I don't need it because I've done it by event but I can do it by notification I can do everything basically by notification the only thing I need to do here is to use the this so set up register collision mesh and make a list of weapons that I am tracing and I am switching between them and each of them have a unique name if you use the same name it will overwrite obviously um, yeah and that's it and how it looks like that's uh, it's quite cool oh and I also added now uh, scroll to change camera position and a slight camera lag on all directions even on the uh, rotation so those are per poly traces which are tracing very precisely when come down to hits and I can show you how precise the like this is very heavy like uh, draw debug sphere is extremely heavy so don't overuse it that will drop my frame rate uh, significantly when I hit anything so let's see And you can see I am actually hitting the bars and I am using complex traces here and this is not the let's use slow-mo point two and by the way you can see the animations in slow-mo and turn in place and landing the attacks and how they blend on each other and you can see the traces as they go and let's see in slow-mo how I will hit those bars and even the floor It's very precise. And you might you might say, oh, okay, because I'm doing slow-mo. And uh, if I don't, then I will lose precision because of the uh, tick frame. No, no, I won't. I will have the exact same precision of traces always. Doesn't matter what my frame rate is. So I can also do T max FPS 15 and I am still registering those uh, per poly hits exactly as I should it's unrelated to the frame rate so what can I change to make it more or less precise and I have this here so I'm doing 60 uh, checks per second. I can go as high as 120 without problem. It will not crash. It will just um, add more fluent uh, shape to what I am, you know, painting in the air. It's more precise, more, you know, curved. It's not as edgy now and if you look in the uh, into my frame rate you can see that my game is having five six milliseconds so this is the actual thing that is heavy uh, on the traces 
and when I hit attack it doesn't change really it doesn't change at all I mean it doesn't change the draw it doesn't change anything that the thing that is heavy right now is the uh, trace draws it's not the trace checks honestly and uh, having even so many per frame uh, checks it doesn't doesn't hurt and it's cool as hell to have this much precision um, but yeah we're doing 120 let's go back to 60 we don't need that much and we're doing 30 collision points uh, per frame so we're doing 60 times 30 180 um, traces per second let's make it a hundred now that should impact my uh, performance right no not really doesn't matter at all that's not even one full millisecond I mean the draws uh, are increasing but uh, that's it slow-mo point two And you can see I hit the same bars with 30 as I hit with 100, doesn't really matter. I was trying different shapes because the most, uh, the, the shape that would make sure that you hit everything on the path of the blade would be a rectangle and if you stretch the rectangle so they touch each other, uh, that would guarantee that the entire blade uh, curvature is getting uh, you know traces and because of the rectangles I could use less traces but what I found out is that actually shape collisions are a lot more heavy on the performance than line trace collisions even multi line trace because this is a multi line trace you can hit multiple objects with a single frame of trace of a single point so yeah here for example I am hitting a lot of stuff yeah, and that that is heavy because of the draws. If I turn off the draws, uh, that won't be as bad. Yeah. Yeah, and now I don't have any frame drop when I'm hitting even this pillar and those bars and everything. Doesn't matter. So yeah, so this is the precision you can get and you can get multiple characters with this precision of attacks and if you are afraid of the performance you can for example scale them dynamically because you can run this uh, every setup authority event means that uh, it has to be run on server to actually work I am a listen server right here so it always works but uh, you can for example if game mode notice that the frame rate of the server uh, drops you can uh, you know make less traces but you can go as low as uh, I don't know 30 and then go with this up to 30 and that will still be quite fine for uh, you know AI enemies slow mo zero 02 for AI enemies, I think that this kind of precision of attacks is more than enough. Ah, but the shape is terrible. I really, I really prefer to have it at least 60, but even up to 120 and 100, easy. And you can go into crazy numbers here, really. I could go 1000, which says uh, 60,000 traces per second. Okay, so this is 60,000 traces per second. And to do those traces, I am also making a lot of complicated math because I am calculating points. I am breaking those points by... Well, I will explain tomorrow, but uh, there's a lot happening. So this is 60,000 um, traces per second. Yeah, it's... It hits, it does uh, give an impact on the game. However, if I turn off uh, debug, so I don't do those 60,000 rows, it, 
it cost me something around uh, five milliseconds for sixty thousand. So if I go back to debug and go back to one hundred, that means I can get ten characters doing attacks at the same time with this. Um, you know, with those settings, and that will cost me five milliseconds. So, if I go lower to 30 and 60, uh, that means I could get uh, easily um, 30 characters doing attacks at the same time. So, three players and 27 AI at the same time fighting. And th this will be the same impact. I am very happy with how it works out. I am happy with the animations. So soon I will add new stuff to it and make it an even better project. Thanks for listening and yeah, really excited to share this with you guys. I've put so many hours into this and it is finally working as I wanted and uh, I hope you will find it easy to work with and uh, you know, you can do a fast paced combat game, an action RPG, you could do a fighter game, you could do, you know, Tekken with it without problems. So I can't wait to see what you what you will do with it